What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about whether you should be learning Python or R as a beginner data scientist. So let's jump into it. So Python and R are actually two of the most popular languages in data science and two of the most important languages that you can learn. Deciding which you're going to learn though can actually be really important in what kind of career path you're wanting to take and really what you're wanting to do as a data scientist. So I'm gonna be breaking down the differences between the two, the pros, cons of both of them, and really why you should learn one over the other. If you do like data science, be sure to obliterate the like button for the YouTube algorithm because we're data scientists here, so we absolutely love algorithms. So really the first question that you're gonna to wanna to ask yourself is why Python or R? So both are really good languages. Both of them are really good to know as a data scientist. A lot of employers, especially on LinkedIn, on Indeed, ZipRecruiter, I mean, wherever you're looking or if you're just doing job interviews, a lot of them wanna know your technical abilities as a data scientist. So Python and R are, wherever I go, I always seem to kind of find that Python and R are the ones that they're asking for the most. So if you're applying for jobs, if you're wanting to become a data scientist, you're most likely gonna have to know one of these two languages. They're both great because they have great communities around them. They're both perfect for doing data science work, data analysis, data visualization. The communities behind them as well are absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can go on Stack Overflow, a data scientist's favorite web page, and you can get answers to every single question that you could think of. So really having those resources, being able to take a step up and say like, I know these um, technical abilities, then you're really gonna put yourself ahead of the field. And really it's kind of the bare minimum as well for a data scientist. You need to know one of these two languages if you ever plan on getting a job in data science. So let's jump in first into why Python instead of R. So if you're looking for like a do it all kind of language, then Python is great. Python, especially for beginners, I think is the best language that you can learn. I think Python is the best one to learn as a beginner, whether that's data science or just software engineering. And the reason why I think Python is better than R is because Python is really good at data collection. So Python has a couple of packages that are called requests and beautiful soup, which allow you to get data from web pages, get data from a lot of different places that are going to allow you to get data from basically anywhere. So you're gonna be able to read in data from a web page, load it, work with the data, and be able to manipulate that data in ways that it just it's just harder in R. I mean, you can do it in R, but R kind of makes it a little bit more complicated. So Python is definitely better in that aspect. And then Python as well is just a lot better at machine learning. If you're planning on doing machine learning, Python is going to be a must. Python has great packages such as Scikit-learn, which make machine learning and doing machine learning actually super easy and accessible to really anybody. You don't need to know a whole lot about machine learning, coding, all the different algorithms. You can really just hop in and do the actual machine learning. Obviously, you're gonna have to practice and get better, develop your understanding, but Python makes it so it's so much easier to do machine learning than R. And then as well, Python is a an object-oriented language, which means that it makes it so you can create cool software, different web applications, you can work with databases, and really just that over R makes it so it's a much more versatile, a lot better of a language to use if you're interested in doing more the heavy duty stuff. And then really one of the best things about Python is that it was made for being easy to read and as well the syntax being very usable and user friendly. So R is kind of, it has a steep learning curve in R, but Python, it's basically like you're reading English, like you're reading, it's easier than reading a textbook. Python makes it so easy to learn, so easy to read that it's a great language for beginners. So R, I, I, I had I had difficulties learning R in the beginning. I think R is kind of, it's a more, and really what it is, it's a statistical learning language. So it's more meant for doing statistical analysis, doing kind of one-off statistical analysis. So it's really good at doing data analysis as well as data visualization. The plots and the charts you can create with R's ggplot2, which is a package in ggplot, a library, 
you can create some really good visualizations and I think it's a little bit better than Python at doing that. So I like visualizations a lot. So I have used R before. R makes it with ggplot a little bit easier to do the actual plots and create them. It doesn't have as many things going on and it makes it so it's a little bit more user friendly for that. As well, R is used by a lot of statisticians. So it's really, it was made for people who want to do statistics. So if you're into doing stuff with like as a college professor or if you're into like academics and everything, then R is really great because a lot of like college professors use it. That's really out of all the people I know, it's just college professors that use R, but I guess I just don't know very many people, but <laughs> there's, a lot of college professors that use R and it's really used in the like college world and kind of the academic world. So if that's kind of your main interest, instead of like doing software engineering or like machine learning industry type stuff, then R is perfect actually for doing that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna be 100% upfront. It doesn't matter what you learn, but in my personal opinion, I would definitely recommend learning Python. And this is for a couple of reasons. One, I just, like I mentioned before, it's easier to learn. It doesn't have that steep learning curve that R does. And as well, it makes, it has a lot more use cases than R does. I feel like R is just this one-off type analysis thing that you need to basically just do one thing with it. But if you're doing, especially if this is like your first language, then learning Python is gonna be a lot easier than learning R, in my personal opinion. I've learned them both and Python was definitely a lot easier than R was at first. But when it comes down to it, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you learn Python or R first, it kind of just depends what you want to do. So I would recommend Python more for the machine learning, web app, heavy duty type of stuff, where R is more for the statistical analysis, data analysis, just kind of that one time analysis stuff that you can do. And I would really recommend R for anybody who's more interested in kind of the analytics type of stuff. Pick one, master it, and then go and learn the other. Just get good at one of them, make yourself a master of it, and then if you can do that, then learning the other one will be a lot easier. Anyways guys, that's my guide to learning Python or R for a data science beginner. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it if you could, and I'll catch you on the next video.